You're excellent because there's reward. You, do, you don't do certain things because there's punishment. That is the way we're made. There's nothing shameful in that. When I hear a, a college kid, believe me, I much prefer a college kid who says, you know, I would like to make a good living uh, and support a family than a kid who said, I want to save the world. Okay? <laughs> when, I was, when I was in graduate school at Columbia, I met kids who wanted to save the world, and they were terrible kids. They were. They were awful. They treated people awfully. These were the, this was the crowd that loved humanity. It was humans they treated terribly, but they, they were in love with humanity. By the way, you know, my, I have the opposite. I love humans and have contempt for humanity. No, I'm very serious. There's a name of one of my articles, Contempt for Humanity, Love of Humans. I love people. Anybody who's in my life knows I love people, right? I love people. I do, I do. I'm, I, but I, I love the people in the elevator with me. I do. But humanity, the record of humanity, is grotesque. By the way, for those of you who are biblically inclined, and I am biblically inclined, uh, the, uh, I, I've taught uh, the, uh, the Bible specifically, what we Jews call the Torah, the first five books of the Bible for, for 25 years from the Hebrew. And uh, I, I've taught uh, this, uh, the verse, the most famous verse perhaps in the whole Bible, love your neighbor as yourself, right? And I, 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 I taught this point. Why does it say love your neighbor? Why doesn't it say love everyone as yourself? And the answer is it's easy to love everyone. It's hard to love your neighbor. That's, that's a big deal. 